that's the one we broke off yesterday. I don't know what he is. Tough as he's been. Oh gosh, he's bigger than I thought. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's go. All right, folks, we just wrapped up stop number three, the Tackle Warehouse Invitationals on Kentucky Lake. Andrew Nordby got it done. Uh, dude, you crushed him day one. You did good on day two. You crushed him day three. It was an incredible tournament. Congrats, man. Thank you so much. Super blessed to do that and be here. It's a blast. Well, I tell you what, it was kind of a different Kentucky Lake than normal. Uh, it was a really interesting Kentucky Lake. You caught a lot of smallmouth. Uh, can we go back out and you know figure this out? Yeah, let's do it. The smallmouth are thriving. Uh, hopefully I left a few. All right, let's go. All right, so Andrew, we're out here now. This is uh, not actually where it went down, but it's very similar to yes, where it went down. Yes. Uh, we're offshore, we're looking at stumps. Right. I came here because I haven't fished these yet. Figured there might be some fresh fish, and where I've fished has pretty beat up. We might be able to catch no a couple, doubt. but it might take a little while. <laughs> All right. Um, what are we looking for out here? Because uh, you've got a full suite of live scope in front of us, and we're in 15 feet now, but Theoretically, we're sliding up shallower as we yeah, go. Yeah, we're sliding up onto the flat. We're looking for those stumps in the nine to 12 feet is what I was targeting because yeah. the water came up a couple feet before the tournament. So a little bit deeper than normal. The uh, smallies that were already kind of made beds in that seven to eight foot and spawning. Yeah. So that's what we're looking for, hard bottom. All right, hard bottom, stumps, not too deep. Yep. All right, perfect. Yeah, so I got my mapping over here and we are rolling up to the next stump. I'm pointing at it with my boat. Yep. And once I get inside that 80 feet, I start to really look for it on the live scope here. Yeah. And you can kind of see it on perspective too. Uh, there's a bed in front of the stump. You can see the you little can see dark the spot bed. there. Yeah, you can see the little bed. So I'm gonna back us up a little bit and I, th I feel good about this one. Okay. I didn't, it yep. It seems like the stumps, like they pop really well on perspective. Yeah. Like you're able to see that shadow they very do. distinctly. There it is. Start recording. Uh, you want me to throw in this one? You're the pro. Go get it. All right. All right. We're casting here like 45, 50 feet in front. Look at him chase that carp off. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. That was a bass there? That was there? a bass chasing off the carp. No kidding. Yeah. So I'm going to reel my bait a little closer to the oh, stump. That, that other one was following you right there. Now I'm backing up because I, I don't want to get too close and I'm still able to look at it with the, this cornfield yep. turret, a live sweep. Now we're going over the stump. That bass must not be back yet. Because he did yeah. not do anything. Yeah, he's, he's either seen a couple too many uh, minnows this week or he wants it to be much more carp sized. <laughs> yeah, he chased that carp off big time. Yeah, he, he was rolling around there. Go ahead. There he is. Got, oh, oh, you see that? He bit it. He bit it. Get he in there, it, Jody. Get it. in there. Too far right. Too far right? You're, yeah. So then. You, you would guys, do a, you would typically you would yeah. follow up with the net. They there. saw that happen on the screen recording there. They saw him shoot up. Yeah. Um there you are. Kind of off the right oh, still a little bit. Yeah, still a little far. See that bass right there on that? Yep. He's right up against it. Yeah, you've got you've basically you've got like your your main stump and then you had just a little blip just Mhm. Mm he just kind of came toward back us after chasing it. that car yeah. too. All right, let's see what he does. Here he comes. Did he get it? Yeah, yeah look at that. So I missed him. Is it a netter? Uh, I don't have. I don't know about that. I mean, I don't we'll have find a super out. strong line on here. He's uh, kind of going to the right. He is definitely yeah. not a netter. <clears throat> we are going to bring him around for Rob, though. Not a netter. No, no. That's a nice one. He's not terrible, though. Yeah. Look at that. He might be a keeper. Look at that. He could, he probably goes 15, right? Yeah, I would say so. 
Look at I that. It. <laughs> it's been a while since I've caught a small mouth. Like first multiple one. days, right? <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. It is amazing, like, how many of them there are yeah, out here. I know. And, you know, how aggressive that guy was, right? Isn't that like, beautiful? He bit two casts in a row, basically. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Good job. Uh, for baits this week, you had a Ned going, and then you had a jig head minnow. Yep. And you were kind of like alternating, using them for slightly different situations, yes. and you know, yeah. giving the fish options. Sure. Uh, what exactly did we, did we have in play? Yeah, so setups, I was using the loose custom light rods. This one's seven six for the jig head minnow. I could cast it further. I could set the hook a little harder, uh, a little easier. And that's a seven two. Yep. And both medium action and that one, I could be a little more finessey with that Ned rig. Yeah. And then- Especially like you're casting into the wind and stuff like yes. that. Like you want it to work well. Yes, and I, I downsized a 10 pound P-line tactical braid. That small braid allowed me to cast a little further into the wind with these light baits too. And then I went to 12 pound P-line tactical fluoro for the, about okay. a 20 foot leader. But the reels, custom lights, these are their new shallow spool. So you don't have to put a ton of braid on there and uh, waste a lot of line or have a backing. And yeah, the setups, you said it. The jig head minnow was a Z2 in Arkansas shiner color, the big one. And on the jig head, 3 16 ounce. And the Ned rig, 10th uh, and 8th ounce with the Ocho Ned Moon Juice color. That thing's beat up, it's glued on there. <laughs> <laughs> We're rolling up to the next spot here. And so what I'm doing, is using this cornfield fishing gear folding mount and we have it up super high and it just folds down and it's super sturdy but it's crucial to not looking like a shrimp all day you see, <laughs> see guys out there looking Drew like Gill, that. you hear that <laughs> <laughs> um and you can just glance down you can see everything and then we have our live suite so if i if i'm cruising up super fast trying to be efficient i got the trolling motor on 100 i can hit reverse real fast and still be watching my bait with this live sweet turret we have up front and in the wind that was really crucial because it would blow you onto the stone yeah, yeah. and you had to back up people have crappie brakes for it but you don't really need it when you can use your trolling motor and still watch it well and you could also be spot locked and yes. looking exactly where you need to look yeah, right being spot locked we didn't see one day that was this calm. No. This is beautiful. <laughs> if you look in the galleries, <laughs> if you watch the live, it's constantly white caps. Yeah. It's just, a, the tournament was brutal. And we're here on, as far as I can tell, probably the most perfect day we could have imagined to yeah. do this. Yeah. Uh, it's not even too hot. Like, Wait, weights would have been way perfect. higher if the whole event was like this. All which right, is so you, crazy to think about. Oh, gosh, imagine. Yeah. So anyway, you, you roll up, you can make all your adjustments on your turret. Yep. You've got your perspective on your trolling yep. motor, so it'll move with the motor, but you're yep. getting that nice wide view. Yes. Uh, and Can then you've got everything up high. Yes, sir. That's, That's how we have it. It's nice and comfortable. All right, what, where's our where's our next target? Uh, Let's go. We might be able to see it. <laughs> you excited? Yeah, I, I love catching the smallmouth. Look at it. All right. All right, there slide. we go. Uh, oh, you're fine. We're just gonna come a little closer to you. Okay, this is uh, like a house foundation or something some down here. There's stumps behind it, yeah. Is this a stump here or is this a... No, that's carp. Oh, okay, Those... that's carp shadows. So on side imaging, carp shadows, you had to be careful you weren't marking stumps that were carp shadows. This is kind of crazy. All right, and this is significantly shallower here. We're in yeah. nine foot now, which... There we go, we're starting you know, the recording. We were a little bit deeper earlier. Yep, so we're gonna pause that. I'm gonna just spot lock. And kind of looks like there's a fish on it right yeah, there. Yeah, I see one. I see a little, a little it. movement there. And you can see me falling in there. Yep. I'm, I'm on the back side of the, it's sort of a foundation, so maybe they'll be on it. We caught a big one in practice that was five. And I came back in the tournament day one and caught two that were two and a half pounds, and I never fished it oh, again. Oh, I could have sworn I saw a little flash there. Did you see? Yeah, something got hot on it for a second. There's another one. Yeah, he's looking. He's you wanna, you're going to get bit. You're going to get bit. No, that's the big one. That that's looks a big. big. One. You can that's see like the one. movement and yep. tail and everything. Yep, that was a big one. Watch Jody catch it. We're gonna try, man. We're gonna try. So now I feel like I'll I was probably too far to the lid. right there. 
Yeah, I'm pretty consistently to the right on your electronics. I've, yeah, it's... I've uh, got to get my... I got to get myself different. dialed in. It's different having it over there, but it's dead on with the arrow. Yeah. The arrow's a little different than what you're used to. Oh, that guy just came up and is looking at... Oh, my thing. gosh. Was that... I don't know what that was. Was he just chasing something? I or hadn't was... been watching it. That doesn't look like a bass. Did you really? We got him. You did it. Is that a big one? I think it's a big one. Okay. Get him, Jody. Come on. Stay on, bud. Need this smallmouth hammer. Jody's been winning these smally tournaments up north. He knows the deal. Oh, oh that's God, the one I that's needed. Really that's the one I needed. <laughs> you, you would, if you uh, caught I, this yesterday, you would have won you. by even more. Yeah, I didn't even fish here yesterday. Golly. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yes. That was a terrible high five. Let's do it again. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I love catching small mouth. Look at that. Putting my man on him. Yes. That's the best guide experience <sighs> I've had in my life. That's crazy. So I threw in there Look on both fish, of these, dude. the first cast, they didn't eat it both times. And then the second cast, they smoked it. That is like, it almost like fires them up a little bit. Yeah. That is so cool. That's awesome. What a beautiful fish. Kentucky Lake, alive mm, and well. Boom, that's a beautiful one. Good job, awesome. Jody. So I've been smearing thump gel all over my baits. It's a scent that doesn't really come off. Unless you catch a few or you make, I don't know, 10 to 20 casts, you can just rub some more on there. It still had a little film, but it also fireworks flake off your bait while you're Yeah, it's got like some glitter on the water. But it, it creates a chemical reaction in the water. Like if I put a drop in there, you'd be amazed at what it does. Really? So a lot of it stays on, but it fireworks it off there. Let me just show you real quick. It's, it's, it's amazing. Watch it work here in a second. It starts shooting the flake off like a firework. Oh, yeah, I see. That see is it? cool. See it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it does it faster the warmer the water is. Right now the water is still fairly cold. Especially on the surface. <laughs> yeah, see it shoot it off there? Yep. And they make all different colors and different color flakes, but your, your bait can just be sitting on a bed. See, look at it. Now it's really starting to shoot it off there. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. But... Yeah, it just makes those fish commit, those ones that follow it. Well, Andrew, you fished like a nearly perfect tournament, you know? You crushed it. What was it like to to, to have it all come together? Because oh, you've had some close calls. It was amazing, thank you. Yeah, I've been in first and second and just never been able to put all three days together. So doing it was just amazing, a big blessing. The Lord blessed me big time with this one and I broke a couple of them off on day two that I thought were going to hurt me. And yesterday in the last 20 minutes of the tournament, I ran back there. I caught both of them. Gosh. Only one of them cold out, but it was a, over a pound coal with a four pounder. And that's what sealed the deal. So big blessing. And yeah, fished great. I didn't lose hardly any fish yeah. and even had some crazy stuff happen along the way. We've got like, photos of a hand line situation. Yeah, <laughs> hand line one in and the net twisted on me on one and we got him in the boat though. So it was a big blessing. Um, the one other thing about this win, obviously you got a check, you got a trophy. You also get to fish Red Crest next year Yeah. on Gunnersville where you live. Uh, are you excited for that? I'm so excited for it. It's the biggest tournament in major league fishing and super happy that it's on the home lake too. Yeah. It's just lined up perfectly. God couldn't have planned it out any better. I love Gunnersville in April. The hardest part's gonna be not talking about Gunnersville with other people, especially my boy Laker, because we fished the evening <laughs> tournaments together all summer. We already had the talk. He's just gonna hop in my boat and I'm gonna drive him around everywhere and he can't say a word. <laughs> but we're gonna try and make it happen still. <laughs> all right, well, I am excited to see how that works out. It sounds awkward, uh, but- Yeah, I'm I don't know if we can make it happen. I'm gonna try, I gotta yeah, check that, with Yeah, that could be a rules question. <laughs> yeah, it's a, definitely a question I'm gonna ask. <laughs> um, but I tell you what, man, it was fantastic to watch you win this week. This was such a cool tournament. And uh, dude, congratulations. Thank you, Jody. I'll leave you guys with the word. While I was running in yesterday, the Lord gave me a word. Uh, as the sun rises every morning, his graces and mercy are new for us every morning. So seek him out and uh, he's waiting for you.